I was in Russia this summer, 2000. To give you a little bit of background about it, it's a soccer tournament which is happens in once in a four year. And uh, in 2010, Russia was appointed to host it this summer. And uh, after its announcement, a lot of people were doubting the security and safety that Russians will provide the supporters around the world. And for that, my proposition is Russians will fail to protect international travelers during the uh, tournament. And my first claim will be about uh, homosexual fans that receive, won't receive uh, pleasant hospitality in Russia. It is a regular case in Russia, homosexuality is not uh, accepted, and there are a lot of victims of crime in Russia, especially in the last five years, they doubled the numbers. And uh, not to mention the law that was established in 2013 that banning the promoting the gay propaganda. And uh, it will be, for that reason, it will be hard for homosexual fans to travel uh, arriving from different countries and be who they are in that during the tournament. And my second claim will be about opposing fans of the team that Russia will play against could be, uh, could face violence. Uh, the nearest example is uh, in 2016, which was in, uh, their fans started a massive street fight in coastal fans in Nice against English fans where their team uh, draw 1-1 one, one in the score. And 31, of, 31 English fans were hospitalized that day. And Michael Tushal, a supporter from travel from uh, London, stated that you go into town now and there are English supporters with blow pouring on their heads uh, from Russian attacks and uh, they are traitors. The World Cup in Russia should be taken away from them. And also, um, I don't know if you guys know, but the recent uh, winter uh, Olympics that was held in Korea, Pyeongchang, uh, Russians were banned to represent their uh, national flag because of their athletes were uh, tested positive in doping. So this will be a reason that Russian fans will be more furious and to fit because um, fears if they lose any games against the opposing teams. And lastly, my third and final plan will be about nationalistic characteristics of Russians, which will cause racial and abuse for the foreigners. And the significance of this topic is that they are the largest country with uh, neo-Nazis, mm -hmm. which is about 60 to 70,000 members. Mm -hmm. And matter of fact, there are dark-skinned soccer players in Russia are often mm -hmm. and abused by Nazi soccer fans. Um, for example, with monkey chants and whistles are very common um, what they do. And according to USA Today, uh, Russian champions Spartan Moscow, which is a soccer team, they were punished by UEFA, which is a European soccer association, for, uh, for monkey chants that their fans broke uh, did for recent youth league game against Liverpool. Uh, this is just one of the many examples how harsh they can be into the youth and in conclusion, anti-homosexuality and violent events and racism that exist in Russia will not be safe for traveling uh, supporters during this tournament.
All right, I think you want to give us a little bit more time at the beginning. I think you're rushing the opening. The background on the World Cup is okay, that's fine. Uh, I see what your claim is. It's clearly stated. That part's good. There's not really a preview of what the supporting structure of the argument's going to be. Uh, you kind of go right into it. And um, I was a little bit confused at that because at first I thought that there was a preview and that's what you were going to do. But as you went along, you started inserting evidence on those supporting points. So I said, okay, I guess that's, you know, basically we've dove, you know, we dove right into the structure of the speech at that point. Um, there is a structure for the speech, so I can pick out some of the supporting points that you're talking about. Uh, the, um, the notion that uh, homosexual fans are going to have uh, problems in Russia, uh, you kind of give a little bit of a background on that with official Russian policies and laws that they have. Um, if there is any comparable information about international sports events that have uh, produced those kinds of problems, a couple of examples would be helpful here. Uh, at, the, at this particular moment, it seems a little bit speculative that uh, people would be treated in a particular way uh, simply because they are rooting for their team. Now, uh, if the fans were doing something that violated the laws in Russia, and maybe your argument is that some of the things that people do um, would violate Russian laws simply by their mere... I don't know, public displays of affection or uh, you know, the way in which they support their teams, for instance, waving flags that might have symbols on them or something like that. I, I don't know what kinds of things would go on here uh, that would affect the fans directly. Um, that I think you need to have a little bit more proof on, but I know the, the premise of your argument is explained in you know, the animus that... Uh, the Russians and the government have toward homosexuality, I think uh, that part is explained pretty well. The notion that there'd be some action on that for outside fans, that I think you need to have a little bit more information on. On, on the second point, where you in essence are suggesting there's likely to be kind of a, um, a rebound effect or a ricochet effect that occurs because of the way the Russians were uh, handled with uh, the Olympics, you know, the, I think that there's a possibility that goes on there. I think you need some quotes about from the international sports community that talk about this issue a little bit. Um, you know, the the notion that the Russians are, you know, they got caught cheating repeatedly. They were kept from uh, marching under their flag in the Olympics. Uh, that there's resentment there. I don't know if there is any way to measure like public opinion in Russia about those kinds of issues and what they're likely to do in response, it seems like it would be counterintuitive if the government is taking on responsibility for the World Cup that they would allow something untoward to happen because that would uh, lead to a negative perception of uh, Russia. And my, my impression is that uh, you know, Certain sorts of behaviors are not tolerated well in Russia, and I would assume that that would include some of the activities that you know go on there. And by the way, I'm not all that worried about the English soccer fans. They can take care of themselves. So I'm sorry that 31 of them got beaten up in uh, some conflict in uh, uh, Europe last year or two years ago. Yeah, whatever that happens to be. But uh, since they've been doing the same thing for to other people for the last 50 years, you know, it's it's not something that I think is, uh, I, you know, the idea that this is going to be something that's unique to Russia, I think, is a little bit problematic. There's a lot of hooliganism that takes place in international soccer, and your argument is that it's going to be worse because of Russia, and I'm not sure that I see that it's going to be worse. All right, and then... Uh, the, the neo-Nazi thing, I think, the, the notion that they might be more involved in that, that they're more active in Russia, if you could show us some of the ways in which they've acted out and done those sorts of things more particularly, I think that would be helpful. You had a, a one kind of a vague example about something that they do. And I'm not sure what it is. Monkey chants? Is that what you're saying? They're yeah, calling people monkeys, monkeys, you know, or something yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah, it, it was a little unclear to me what it was that they were getting punished by the um, European soccer leagues for uh, apparently it's some derogatory chant that the fans are uh, taking up. That I think is a good example of something that shows that the Russian soccer fans are not necessarily as hospitable as they might want to be. Uh, and I don't know who, you know, 
let me rephrase it. A lot of people go to the World Cup. I don't know what the ticket distribution is at, at home. You know, um, that would have been one of those things. If you could say that half of the people who are going to be at the stadiums at the World Cup are going to be Russians, then I would say that that makes, it makes your argument a little bit better, and that would be one of those things that you could talk about, that you know, the vast majority of the ticket sales for World Cup events in Russia will be uh, Russian citizens, and that makes it more likely that these sorts of things are going to occur. I think that would be helpful. All right, thank you.